To Hampton now, a man will spend the next four years in prison for defrauding the feds. They say he used his disabled son to pocket more than $100,000 through Medicaid. And here's where it gets a little weird. Prosecutors said he did it twice while in jail. All new at 11, Madeline David walks us through the paper trail that led to a conviction. It's a case that dates back to 2012 with extensive documentation. The U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Virginia says Maurice Moody and Dina Major used their severely disabled nonverbal son to collect government money. Eligible patients like this boy can get an hourly in-home care worker paid for by Medicaid. The government specifically says, though, that care worker cannot be a parent. But Moody and Major listed Moody as the care worker, and according to this this document, they tried to claim that Moody was the boy's uncle. Between 2012 and 2016, they collected more than $108,000 in fraudulent reimbursements. This document tells us that Moody claimed he worked hours when he was actually traveling out of state and in two other circumstances when he was behind bars. We also know that the disabled child was removed from the home entirely at one point for possible abuse. Investigators then say Major and Moody tried to use another boy as a stand-in for that child so they could still collect the money. On Wednesday, Moody was sentenced to four years in prison. For 13 News Now, I'm Madeline David.